Hi guys, Chris here, back with a quick follow-up video to the unboxing I did. This is the Chewy HI12, and it has that uh, new screen that now the Chinese manufacturers finally got their hands on, and it's the old Surface Pro Samsung PLS panel. Quite a nice panel. Now, there were a few concerns about the brightness, and I didn't actually think it to be that bright in the beginning, because I, what I remember of my Surface Pro 3, I thought, hey, this screen's a little dull. Now, it could be because it's not a fully laminated display, could be because it's got a screen protector on it, but it wasn't really that. What I did find out was the Intel graphics settings had uh, the power mode, sorry, power saving mode enabled, and that actually affected the brightness. So this was on the extended battery life for gaming and also the display power saving technology, and that was what was affecting the panel. So the display saving technology caused the brightness to be quite dim. Now the brightness is quite fine. I tested it out. It's actually 300 um, lux of brightness. Quite bright. And if I have a look now at uh, battery, sorry, not the battery screen, it's at 50% at the moment. Now if I increase that up to 75 and 100, I think that's definitely now bright enough and I'm not concerned or worried about the screen anymore. The brightness is slightly lower than that of the Surface Pro 3, which gets 370, if I remember correctly. The panel's supposed to be able to do 400 uh, nits or lux of brightness, I think it is. But uh, it um, is definitely a lot better now with that setting changed and fixed there. Now, it does dim all the way down to 0% there, so you can't really make it out until you turn all the lights off. And there you can just see it so good kind of setting there without burning out your retinas if you're looking at in a dimly lit environment or you're sitting in bed watching a movie or something that's the setting you want to have it on okay so my first impressions of the tablet i already posted this on techtablets.com overall pretty good uh the screen responsiveness is very good it doesn't seem to have any lag it it's performing quite well. Now these are the benchmarks of the storage. So we've got the micro SD card slot here on the left. You see those speeds there. Uh, Hyanx drive, so that's the C drive. The EMM C drive. It's okay, good speeds there. I mean the right speeds aren't bad at all. If you have a look at the Surface 3, I reviewed quite a few months ago, or half a year ago now I think it was. Uh, that's the Atom tablet. That only had right speeds of about 50, 60, I think it was. So that's not doing too bad. And the 4Ks, they're okay. And this here is my SanDisk Extreme USB 3 memory stick that I ran from the port. Just benchmarked it to see how fast it was. And yeah, overall, no, no complaints there. Everything seems to be working as you'd imagine. Now, benchmarks. Is it moving around here? This is the first score that I got, or one of the first scores I got, an Ice Storm at 1.2. And it was a, not a bad score. That's running off the battery with the Intel power saving disabled. Now, if you plug it in and run it at the same time, then you get an even higher score. You get an extra 2,000 points there. So performance definitely increases if it's running off power. And this is the 3D Mark 11 score. I ran that just in order to push the system as hard as possible so I can check out the thermals which I'll show you in just a second uh, PC Mark 7 score actually a bit higher than most of the other Atom X5Z 8300s and finally CloudGate 1.1 score quite a good score considering again the chipset now thermals I have been running the whole time HW Info, um, just been leaving that in the background the whole time. And it hasn't actually gone past 69 degrees, which is really good. I'll show you up close here. So 69 degrees. And it's been going for about eight hours now down here that I've had it running. So that's been when I've been doing all those benchmarks. Now I haven't done enough gaming yet. I will have some gaming videos coming up soon. I haven't had enough time on there to really really push the system but it's looking like the thermals are just fine and as I imagined I think what Chewy have done they're using where the chipset is will be where these USB ports are 
I think they've placed a thermal pad there, so it's transferring heat away from the atom chipset into the whole backing plate, using that as one huge passive heat sink, which is a really good idea, and I've seen Cube do that on the i7 and the i7 stylus. Now, web performance is really good. The screen I'm finding real pleasure to use. It's very responsive, this system, and the accuracy within the whole operating system and just using touch and everything just seems to be really good and fine and really I can't find anything wrong with the tablet so far apart from the usual the cameras are lousy I mean you got two megapixel front facing camera five rear and I did discover there is a little bit of noise coming through static interference with the 3.5 millimeter headphone socket which isn't good now that noise is only really picked up when you don't actually have any sound playing. So it's, it's almost like interference from another component on the PCB or something that's interfering with that. So when you're playing an audio track or you go into in, in YouTube, then everything runs without any static noise. You can't hear it. So it's going to bother some people. I know it bothers me because I like to have very clear audio. So I'm just going to quickly plug in my wireless keyboard and mouse just so I can quickly do a quick web test here now I haven't visited techtablets.com yet on the tablet I just wanted to show you the kind of experience you get on the HI12 so it hasn't been cached before it pops out relatively quick and this is Edge of course you try this on Chrome and it's not going to be this smooth the scrolling but overall the experience Using this for movies and web browsing, I think, is brilliant because you're taking advantage of this premium Samsung panel and it looks really good. So if I go into something a little more heavy, now this is my Redmi Note 3 review. This has three embedded YouTube videos and a lot of thumbnails with images. So I can imagine it's quite taxing, but you have a look and see that that loaded up pretty fast. Still scrolls really fast. And... The movies are there. So not the movies, but the YouTube clips. And if I just play one of them and scroll around. I mean, it's loading in fast. It's responsive. And at times, it doesn't really feel like an Atom. At least not the Z8300, which is odd. I thought this panel would really drag the system down being such a high resolution panel and the accuracy of moving around icons and things loading up windows that seems to work pretty good no quick access, access that took a while didn't it that can be slow sometimes on my desktop but overall I'm enjoying the tablet so far and battery life okay uh, well I've had it on for 3 hours and 21 minutes at the moment running some benchmarks browsing uh, listening to some tunes over YouTube and you're looking around safe to say about five to six hours now remember I have disabled that battery saving feature in the Intel graphics settings so and I'm running 50% brightness the whole time so if you lower the brightness you could maybe even squeeze out six and a half I think if you game on it not that you'd want to really uh, you're probably going to be getting only about three hours so overall things are looking good for the Chewy HO12 I am as I mentioned enjoying it now I'm working on my full written review that will be up on techtablets.com so keep an eye out for that I don't know whether I will have a full video review at least not anytime soon because I've got a lot on at the moment but I will try and get some more material out as I said I will have some gaming videos coming up soon so please stay tuned to the channel keep an eye out for those and if you do have any questions it's probably easier well easier for me if you jump over onto techtablets.com onto the Chewy HO12 thread there or some of the posts there and ask me there and see if I can test things out. Now I don't have much time so I can't promise you that I can test out everything but I will do some gaming and try to test out as well streaming from Steam to see how well that performs. Thanks for watching this video. I hope I didn't blab on too much and see you back in the channel. Bye for now.